we're getting our advanced degree in redneck ecology this this morning happy thanksgiving happy thanksgiving <laughs> Folks, this is Josh Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome back to the farm. I've got Nate here with me today, and he, dude, that's Yukon Cornelius, by the way. <laughs> it's Christmas season. You growing a Christmas beard? I'm trying to. <laughs> well, guys, happy Thanksgiving, happy Turkey Day. Today's Thanksgiving 2020. If you're catching this after the fact, and today what we're gonna do is I'm gonna walk away from Yukon Cornelius here, and we're gonna be working on the Swamp Donkey. So this is the C10. It's a '69 Chevy C10 pickup. I pulled it out of the bushes, man. I wish I could have taken you guys along, but the person I bought it from just wasn't cool with the camera. So we're gonna go around this truck we're going to show you a little bit about it i don't know how long it's been since it ran so we're going to have an absolute blast with this thing today and we're going to see if we can get the swamp donkey to run all right Woo! i ain't afraid of work i ain't afraid of play i ain't afraid to get the job done and do it my own damn way i ain't afraid of life times like this of my freedom, I'll tell you just what you can kiss. That's right. I said if you miss up my freedom, I'll tell you just what you can kiss. All right, folks, here we are. This is the Swamp Donkey. This is a 1969 C10. Now, what does that mean? What does C10 mean? Let's talk about this as we walk around the truck and we're gonna go around and show you all of its little nuances. I have not, I've only opened one door, dude. I haven't opened the tailgate. I picked this thing up out of the woods. I just got it for a good deal and I knew it would be super fun content to have here on YouTube. And I'm a truck guy, man. Love it, through and through. Truck guy, a Chevy truck guy, a C10 guy. But this is a four wheel drive. Need some comments down there. This is a C10 four-wheel drive, 1969. What was the first year that they started making the K10? Was this a truck that was a two-wheel drive It was converted over to a four-wheel drive? There are all sorts of odd little Mickey Mouse situations going on in this truck. So when I say Mickey Mouse, I mean, there's some weird stuff going on here. So it's a C10, it's a four-wheel drive. It's got, I think, to uh, be a Chevrolet 350. Now, I'm gonna pop up some images right now, and you're gonna see those images. Those are the numbers off the block. So the challenge to you guys this Thanksgiving day, as you're sitting with your family, or if it's after Thanksgiving and you're watching this, the challenge is, tell me what this engine came out of, what year is this engine, and if it's a 350, if it's a 354 bolt main, is it a 305, is it a 307, is it a 302, it has an X on the block, is it a 302 high performance, high output out of a Camaro, what is it? This got four on the floor, man, this thing's awesome. So we'll show you the shift knob, we'll show you all the interior, this thing is straight up old school pimp ride. We're going to open it up first and show you the inside. Right now, this is it, the second time I've opened this door. Here we go. <laughs> okay, it's, it's, it's not very responsive, okay? <laughs> you see how it sticks? We'll open her up here. Oh man, this thing is nasty, dude. Just totally nasty. So if you look inside, the uh, windshield is all fogged over, which tells me, maybe you guys can give me some input. Uh, I encourage you to leave all the comments in the world. Uh, if you'd like to have a truck like this, let me know. So inside here, we've got a four on the floor. It's got an aftermarket radio, but the dash hasn't been cut. Boom, awesome. Uh, it has a dash mat and on the dash mat, which is, oh God, it's gross. Uh, <laughs> it's coming out. 
Oh, that's so nasty. Oh, the dash isn't good. There's not a crack on the dash at all. Holy moly, look at that. Not one crack. Look at that, that's awesome. Um, behind the scenes, Nathan, or Nate, or Yukon Cornelius for this video, he's trying to get in the sexy beard club on the Stony Ridge Farmer uh, <laughs> Facebook uh, group. But anyway, that's what's on the, uh, <sighs> nasty, <laughs> that's so nasty. So in here we've got uh, pretty much uh, uh, layers of bees. Uh, we would say if, if you, if this truck were found, it looks like it's been sitting at the bottom of a lake, basically. It's really, really rusty. Um, floorboards, you can see there's holes down in here. There's pretty much no rocker left. And there's a treat sitting right down here. And that's why I wanted to bring you guys along. Guess right now what this tape is. First of all, before you guess, before you start thinking, this is, this is just so fun. Look at the mirror. <laughs> I'm gonna leave that on there. That, that's a fuzzy mirror wrap. <laughs> now, judging off of the mirror, what do you think the tape is? Is it Guns N' Roses? Is it White Snake? Is it Barry White? Barry White. <laughs> Dude, that thing's probably worth like 500 bucks on eBay. <laughs> that's so awesome. Four wheel drive, shift knobs all right there, everything's cool. Uh, the fella I bought it from had to dig through a big pile of keys and this thing was sitting out in a field for a very, very long time. Uh, tire size, let's talk about that. Let's see if I can get this door to shut. Here we go. Oh, well, that was pretty good. Uh, Bondo, we got Bondoage. We got Bondo work right here. We got rust over the fenders. No telling what the inside of the bed looks like. I've got the Honda Element pulled back here. Everybody's hiding back there. Uh, I've got some friends over. Um, look at the glass. Just look at the glass. It's been sitting long enough that lichen has grown and moss has grown on it. So the fenders are, are shot right here. The quarters are shot. Brand new exhaust. So there's brand new dual, true dual exhaust on this thing, I think. Um, as we work our way around, you can see old Bondo marks and stuff. But I'm not positive how this thing's gonna open either. I, I haven't opened the tailgate, but let's give her a shot. It might fall off on the ground. Wow, here we go. Oh, yep, it takes 260, no problem. <laughs> um, there is, yeah, there's rust holes down here in the tailgate, so the tailgate will have to be replaced. Um, the bed, there are rust holes in the bed. Let's see how she shuts. Nice. Could be a great farm truck, just the way it is. I mean, as ugly as it is, <laughs> it's still a beautiful C10 pickup or K10. Should it be a K10? Mm. So let's go around the other side. Let me check my beard. Hold on. Mm. <laughs> Man, that's the only clean spot on the whole truck right now. <laughs> you can see this is the north side of the truck. So it was facing off to the north on this side and you can see the rocker. Let's get down here. Oh, on the ground. That's the rocker. And this is what's left of the rocker. And it looks like Bondo and fiberglass. So we've had some serious body people working on this machine. Look at that. We've got a dangler. <laughs> I think we should get rocking and rolling, but I want to look at the tires real quick and show you guys. This thing has a lift. It has a body lift. Look at the rusty hole back there. Can you see it? Um, what size are these tires? 33s. So it's got a set of 33 1250s on it. What are they? The Mickey Thompsons? Super Swampers. It's got, it's got super, it's got Swampers on it, man. So Swamp Donkey is totally appropriate for this truck. Ugh. Let's get up. We're gonna pop the hood and I'll show you under the hood. Again, uh, while I'm popping the hood, I'm gonna pop the numbers across and I'm actually gonna leave them down there in the video description. If you click show more, it will show more uh, and I'll give you all the numbers off of the block and I'll give you the serial number off the truck so you guys can look it up yourself if you're interested, if you like this kind of stuff. I love this kind of stuff. Let's open the toy box here. It's always a treat to open the hood on something and see what's in there. Before I bought this truck, I knew nothing about it really. All I know is it has that Carolina squat back there and the man that had this truck before, he had a whole bunch of cars. He had a Cracker Box Nova, he had a Monte Carlo, he had Chevelles, Novas, all sorts of stuff and they all set out in a field. He drove them for a few months and then parked them and then bought the next toy and drove it for a few months and parked them and bought the next toy. So all signs point to 
it's gonna start today. All signs don't point to good gas in the gas tank. So we'll go over there, we'll open the gas cap and give her a little whiff and see what she smells like. I got a sneaking suspicion a gas tank replacement is going to have to happen. But you can get every part, any part you want for this thing. Let's crack the hood open and let her rip, Tater Chip. Oh. Oh. Chevrolet Edelbrock. El Edelbrock. El it's so hard to say Edelbrock. So uh, El Edelbrock, let's see if we got, if it's Edelbrock, I'm sure it's a, a four barrel, bound to be a four barrel. It's got the world's longest <laughs> retaining nut on there. It's got a wing nut on it though, thank goodness. Um, I think this guy might have had it going on, man. I don't see a lot of squirrel or rat. Oh yeah, we got Edelbrock four wheel, dr uh, excuse me, four barrel. And it looks clean as a whistle in there. I'm gonna take a look, guys. I'm gonna take the camera over top of it. Man, doesn't that look clean? It looks really nice, doesn't it? Alternator looks fairly new. Belt looks like it's about to fly apart. So when we get ready to start it, uh, I think that the belt might come apart on us. So um, no fan shroud, so gotta be careful with that. Uh, the fan is a clutched fan, so hopefully it won't start spinning and chop my fingers off. Look at that. That's an impressive, man. That's like six years of dirt daubers right there. <laughs> Let's get it off. Let's see what we got. It might be something alive in there. Oh, yep. That's like six years of dirt daubers nest. Uh, got a little bit in the air filter. I don't think that's going to affect our airflow for today. Bring your beard up here closer to the camera. We got to see this. Look at this red beard. <laughs> He's been asking for beard advice because mine's more afro -y and yours is more straight, right? Yeah. Yeah, so guys, give them some beard advice, how to make the uh, straight beard get that flow. You're looking for that perfect flow. So exactly. you wanna, he wants to be super sexy. <laughs> <laughs> so what you're gonna do for me right. is start this critter. So you're gonna be my key man. I open the gas cap. Oh God, it stunk so bad, it's absolutely nasty. It's a just varnish basically. Mm -hmm. So what I gotta do for today's purposes, all we're gonna do is try to keep it running. So we're gonna pour a little bit of gas down the carburetor, put a new heavy duty marine battery. You seen that big marine battery yep. I got? So I had the marine battery on charge. It's a tractor battery, so it's bound to turn this 350 over. Hopefully Nathan doesn't run over me. <laughs> if, <laughs> if we can get it running, if it'll run on varnish, I'm not gonna disconnect the gas. I think I'm just gonna let it run. We'll see what it does. See if it runs on varnish. If it'll run on varnish, then we're going for a drive. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Let's get busy, man. All right, I'm gonna throw the battery in. You get around there if you will, sir, right. and be my key man. Gotcha. Rad. This is out of one of my tractors. This is a big boy, but it fits. Yeah, my measurements were correct. So this'll be the, f that ain't gonna work. <laughs> we're gonna turn it around. Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, Negative and positive. I think you should hook up, this This obviously goes to the block down here. I think we should hook up the positive first. Now guys, tell me if I'm wrong, but I think we need to hook up the positive first. And uh, the battery terminals actually look, or the uh, connectors look pretty clean. And this is a, they're a little bit short. There we go. Nice. That's pretty good, it, it's snugged up on there. Here we go, let's see if the battery blows up. Um, Nope, no spark, that's awesome. Okay, we're gonna snug these guys down a little bit. Uh, they're clean as a whistle. All signs point to this engine running. I think this thing's gonna fire right up. Got my fingers crossed, man. Look at old Swamp Donkey. This could be awesome. We need to check the oil too. Um, yeah, let's see. There's what we're looking like on the dipstick. It's not bad, guys. It's really not bad. It's pretty black. Um, smell, taste. Mm, mm. Not sweet, so no head gasket, I hope. <laughs> okay, is it in gear? Yeah. Is it out of gear now? Nope. Stuck in gear? Oh, hang on here. Don't uh, don't kill me. <laughs> brake? Is the emergency brake on? Pump the brakes. Oh my shit! Oh, damn it! <laughs> just, it just blew the line. Come on up here. Get your butt up here. <laughs> Come, tell them what you just did. Blow the brake line. How'd you blow the brake line? Pumping on a little too hard. I said pump the brakes a little bit, see if you can get them to pump up. He went, rah, 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 rah. I just saw it explode out here and tasted it too. Uh, that's good though, a little brake fluid along with the motor oil kind of gives it uh -huh. a, a good flavor. <laughs> Thanks, Yukon. <laughs> um, <laughs> 
well, we had to replace the brake lines anyway, but uh, that pretty much limits us. We might have to go in low four. It's stuck in gear right now, okay? So uh, we're a little bit nervous about trying to start it. We're gonna try to get it out of gear. I'm gonna rock it back and forth while you try to uh, shake it out of gear. Don't hit the start button because uh, we'll be dancing with the devil. <laughs> And get it? We out? All right, let's roll it back in. Yeah, yeah, she's, yeah, she's out of gear. She should be good. All right. <laughs> I'm just giving him crap. Yeah, he's a great friend of mine. No, nah, who needs a wheel chalk? Uh, I can just jump. Hang on, let me move all my obstacles. Dude, you should see. Hold on, before you hit it. <laughs> Look up here. There's all the brake fluid. <laughs> it was a volcano of brake fluid. <laughs> Thanks, Nate, dog. <laughs> now you are officially Yukon Cornelius until you shave that beard. Mm. You take. A while. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's hit it. All right. Nothing. Nothing? Oh. Oh, hang on, hang on. Maybe that's what that wire was for. Something to do with the starter. Let's put that wire back in there. All right, uh, let's, let's turn her again. See if you get any noise or anything. Back and forth a few times. No, nothing? Oh, Yukon figured it out. <laughs> so that little wire that came loose right there, we went on and put a new connector on that point. I'm not exactly sure what that is, a voltage regulator or something right there, but we've got lights. So we turned the lights on to see if it would work. Um, so we've got lights, fingers crossed that that engine turns over and it's not, I know it's not locked up because it turned. So we're going to let him hit it just a little bit, hopefully pump some oil up into the, uh, um, where the valve train is and everything, get some oil moving in the engine, and then we're going to put some fuel to it. Kick it! Listen to that, man. Holy cow. It sounds pretty good, huh? Yes, sir. Uh, I smell the, I can smell the varnish. So, uh, we'll pump the gas twice, hit it. There we go. Keep on hold, just hold it on. All right. I think this thing's going to fire. Let me pour a little gas in the uh, bowl in the carburetor right quick. We're going to load that dude up. Let's see what happens here. Um, I'm not going to do starter fluid yet. We're going to see. Okay, Nathan, uh, w when you start it this time, pump, just pump the gas, like pump, 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 pump. Kind of like you're pumping the brakes when you broke the brake line. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Hit it, brother. What? Oh, my God, give it. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> we got flamage. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Woo! Come on over here, man. Give it to me. <laughs> Social distance smack. <laughs> oh man, that's awesome. Let's uh, let's hit it with a little more gas. We didn't even need starter fluid, so uh, I'm gonna flood it real quick. Right. Um, tell you what, why don't you? Will you babysit it out here and tell me if you something astray goes? Yeah. And I'm gonna get in there and and start pumping on it. Sure. All right. Womp donkey. <laughs> She's smoky and I can smell. Can you smell the varnish? Yes. I can smell total varnish, man. <laughs> it starts. Man, I don't think, I don't know that I can resist taking this thing for a drive. Um, we might have to figure something out here. So <laughs> hang on, guys. I think we're going to rig something up. <laughs> Yukon Cornelius. Let's talk about this. It's getting hot out here. Um, dude. Hey, girls. Um, <laughs> We have no brakes now. No. I think since it's a straight gear, since it's a stick, mm -hmm. that we could take it for a drive. And the worst thing that could possibly happen is we just shut it off while it's in gear and it uh, 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 drifts to a stop. Yeah. We're on a farm here, so we could take it out in the field and drive it around. I just want to see if it'll move on its own power. That way we know if the mm -hmm. clutch is gone or whatever. So we'll check the emergency brakes, see if the e-brake works. If the e-brake works, then we're golden. Um, let me see if we can rig up a fuel tank. Let's get a hillbilly <laughs> fuel tank going, man. I got a bunch of stuff in the shop. I keep fuel line on the farm, always. So we've got fuel line. This is uh, 
It says quarter inch. It looks like three eighths to me. Uh, I bought this kit. I got some awesome kits to, of, of goodies that I buy to keep on the farm all the time. This is fuel line clamp uh, or hose clamps. Um, so we got that. We've got a bolt to put in the old fuel line when we pull it out. And we're actually going to take it apart, turn the engine over, and see if we're getting fuel from the tank. If we're getting fuel from the tank, we may just go ahead and pour some fuel into the gas tank and see if that works. If that works, then we're golden. It smells like varnish in there, but um, so we, we've got a lot of test moves before we go uh, making moves. Come on in here, man. Come on in here. <laughs> be, be part of it. Uh, so before, I'll hand the gas can over there. Let's, let's, let's show them that. So our idea, here's our idea. <laughs> the camera's about to fall over. <laughs> I got the old kind of gas can. We're going to run a fuel line down into the gas can right here, tip it up with the fuel line in, fill the fuel line with, with fuel, set this on the hood, ratchet strap it down, and run it right into uh, the carburetor, gravity feed it right into the carburetor. So that's an option. We have several options going. I think the first thing we need to do is take loose the line, turn the engine over, see if it's pumping. Letter eight. He <laughs> backfired. He was holding that gas line right over there and I heard it pop. I thought, oh, uh, we're going to hit it again. Fire extinguisher. It's going to be right here for you, buddy. Okay. Catch on fire. Uh, don't worry. So we got no fuel on there. We're going to pour a little bit of fuel uh, in the tank right now. Maybe that varnish, maybe all the fuels evaporated out of it. I'll bet you. Uh, this is probably the last time this ran is pre uh, uh, ethanol so it probably didn't have any ethanol in it so let's fill her up with the four ounces of gas that i have <laughs> is there a dirt dauber nest in here who knows i imagine we're going to go through some fuel filters on this critter oh the varnish smell <laughs> dude could you smell that yes oh, yes oh my god it stinks let her eat my brake line you broke my favorite screwdriver i didn't, I didn't break it <laughs> <laughs> so we got the new fuel line on right yep okay now we should be able to visualize the, the gas and we're being a little bit safer and a little bit smarter that way we don't pour gas on something that goes spark and goes boom next thing you know we're in the burn unit uh or i'm Using putting the fire out, i would like to <laughs> easy <laughs> here we go We're probably gonna get at least three miles to the gallon. There's a bit of a cloud of smoke back here. <laughs> Here's what we're doing. This tank has just about the perfect size opening and it doesn't drip uh, for this fuel line. This quarter inch fuel line might not be big enough. This motor sounds like it might be built. Uh, sounds good, but no leaky, no leaky poo. That's, that's awesome. We should start getting fuel into, hopefully, into the uh, fuel filter right now. Let's take a look. Oh, look at that. <laughs> there it is. Fuel, baby. Fuel. I got an idea, bro. Come here. Uh-oh. <laughs> Here's my idea. So we don't need a ratchet strap. While we have this high quality 3M electrical tape and a perfectly placed antenna, <laughs> we don't need no ratchet strap. We're getting our advanced degree in redneckology this, this morning. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. Look out, Jack. May it not be in the burn yet. <laughs> Chucky's back. <laughs> we have even a breather for our fuel canister right there. 
What do you think? Yukon Cornelius approved? Genius. <laughs> <laughs> this is stupid. <laughs> Let's not go full on stupid yet. Oh, we go. <laughs> oh my God. 2,500 bucks and that sucker's purring like a kitten, man. I'm not, <laughs> what do you think, Nate? Nice. He's already, <laughs> you've laid claim to this truck, haven't yep. you? <laughs> awesome, awesome. Well, guys, that is completely awesome. All right. We're driving it. We're driving it. <laughs> We're driving it. <laughs> Super happy. Guys, come on back and see me here on the Stony Ridge Farm Channel. Please pound that like button, jump in, subscribe. We're going to jump in here and we're going to try and troubleshoot this just a little bit more. Thanks a lot for joining me here on the Stony Ridge Farm and Yukon Cornelius. So we'll see you guys next time. All right. Woo! Woo! <laughs> yeah! Swamp doggy! Yeah! <laughs>